Hey guys, I'm Rob, uh, and today I'm just starting a short series on the Pittsburgh Modular Lifeforms Micro Sequence. This is a sweet little um, 10 HP sequencer for Eurorack, and it's got a lot of really awesome features, but it's very, very accessible and easy to use for anybody who just wants a, a quick and easy sequencer for their Eurorack. Uh, so today I'm going to be talking about the different directions uh, that the sequences can move in. This is something, the direction options are one of the more interesting parts of this sequencer. Uh, it has the usual forward and reverse and pendulum, but it also has some more interesting ones. It has some random ones, and uh, it's just got a few interesting options. In advance, I'd like to apologize for the sound quality. Uh, I still haven't figured out how to sync recorded audio with the audio from my camera, so I'm just uh, using the output from my monitor. This is just a sequencer demo, demo though, so we should get away with it because it's a sequencer. We don't need to uh, hear the nice timbral sub subtleties of my oscillator that much. Also, my brother is playing video games in the background and he's yelling a bit, so if you hear a shout, you know what that is. So I'm just gonna pull in some sound here. So my patch right now is the pitch out into a oscillator algorithm from the expert sleepers disting, and then uh, the oscillator is going into the make noise optimix, and the gate out from the micro sequence is going into the optimix's strike input, which is causing this kind of plucky sound, and then I've got a little bit of reverb from the 2HP reverb that is uh, just there to make it sound a little more nice and ambient. So as you can see, the sequence is moving forward right now. It is just pretty standard, right? Left to right, top to bottom. Uh, now in order to change the direction of any sequence, you press the direction button here once to show which direction you're on, and there's a little label over e or under each slider to show you uh, which direction you're going in, and then you press it twice to move to the next one. So now we're in reverse, So very standard, left to right, bottom to top. So we'll switch to the next one, which is Pendulum. Pendulum, basically, it goes forward, and then when it reaches the end of the sequence, it stops and goes backwards again. That's pretty straightforward. Next up, we've got the Stagger option, which is, it moves forward, but it sort of will stagger backwards every once in a while. It's a little bit random. So it'll stagger backwards, it'll skip a step occasionally. This is nice because you still get most of the melody that you have sequenced in there intact, but you get some little random uh, happy accidents that come up, which is kind of fun. It's not just a straightforward eight sequence or eight step sequence. Next up, we have the skip option. And this is kind of like stagger, except it doesn't stagger backwards. It just every once in a while will skip a step in the sequence. So you just follow the light there, you'll see that it just moves forward and then boom, it skips a step. Next up, we have the transpose option. So basically, the way this uh, direction option works, the top half of the sequencer is the sequence that's being played and the bottom half is adding a voltage to that, which will transpose it to a different option. So it's almost like this is an arpeggio that's going, and this is the root note of the arpeggio. So as you can hear, the basic melody is pretty much the same, but depending on the bottom note, it'll play in a different pitch range. What's really nice about this is it gives you a 16 step sequence instead of an 8 step sequence, or it'll give you four, uh, four step sequences, which sounds really nice, and uh, yeah, it's a nice little feature to have. I'm just going to bring this back down, hopefully it doesn't sound terrible. 
So the next option we have is random one. So you'll see that when it starts, random one just kind of bounces all over the place. Uh, now the difference between random one and random two, random one uh, has a constant gate pace. So every time the gate strikes, it'll land on a new note. Sometimes it'll hit the same note twice, but the gate never stops or slows down or anything like that. It's just boom, 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 boom. Uh, now, random two, the gate sometimes will pause for a second. So random one still sounds a lot like a sequence. Random two, especially when you slow it down, uh, can really sound a little bit random. Now, what's really fun about the sequencer and the direction modes is how immediate it is, right? So if we started on forward, I can very, very quickly switch it to random and have a little random bit. I'm gonna pull in a little bit of a pad from the Mother 32. up your compositions right you can have your main melody for say a chorus or a hook bit but then you can really easily move into a more random part or a transpose part we'll move back to random one In short, uh, the Lifeform's micro sequence direction modes give you a ton of control uh, over what order the notes you have entered in will play and trigger, and it's a really fun way to mix up your sequences and uh, have more complex compositions than just an eight-step sequence. Anyway, until next time, cheers, happy synth noodling, fellas.